welcome back to another episode of the Blue Honor Vlog. I'm Kay Williams, author of Op Deck Operation to See, Blue Honor, for which the vlog and the mo my blog are named for, and the Trilokia Trilogy. So today we're going to delve into more Trilokia Trilogy stuff, and I'm going to talk to you about a paranormal experience I've had. Um, yeah, they it, it's been a long, strange trip, my friends. Um... I tend to be extremely skeptical like Scully from X-Files. Um, I want to find the explanation that makes most sense, mundane before magical, so to speak. You've probably heard that term before. Um, but there's just things I can't explain. Uh, for instance, back in 2000, I had an apartment with a couple of friends, Sean and Rachel. It's their real names. I didn't change them to protect their identities, but I won't. I won't give their full names. Um, so Sean was out a lot uh, with his girlfriend, and understandably, and I worked day shift nine to five, and my roommate was working retail, so her hours were all odd. My other roommate, and um, I did expect her home that evening. So I was doing laundry. Um, at the time I had a kitty, Shen. Um, he was Siamese cat, so Shen um, supposedly means spirit in one of the Chinese dialects. And um, I named him that because I, uh, another experience, um, something had bothered me to go to the shelter and look and I had always wanted a Siamese cat so when I showed up and I was looking around I didn't see any and I'm like I don't know why something was urging me to go and I just had this and then my roommate goes I'm Kelly and I turn around and there's a Siamese cat so Shen <laughs> so I don't know about that link but I know he he was such a good kitty he was wonderful um <clears throat> he died several years ago um, he was about eight years old when I adopted him, and he lived a further eight years and uh, passed away at home. But anyway, uh, back in 2000, which is when I got him, I was home, and I was expecting the roommate to come home. And I heard what I thought was the front door open and close, and somebody lock it, and then heard somebody walking up the stairs and I'm sitting there folding laundry on the other side of my bed with a bead to the door which overlooks where you come up the stairs and then you can turn into the other rooms. I'm looking right at that and somebody comes up, looks like my roommate Rachel, looks at me, turns and goes off into another room and I'm like you could at least say hi you know, it's like, what did I do? <laughs> and uh, my cat saw her, and the ears were up, and was like, what? What was that? And then I heard the door close, and I'm like, oh no, something's wrong. This is not good. So I put down my laundry, and I went to go ask, is everything okay? And she was not in her room. Her door was still open. My roommate Sean's door, however, was closed, and I'm like, well, that's weird. I don't know why she would go in there, so I opened the door, and it was dark in there, and no one was in there. She didn't come home for at least another hour. I have no idea who that was, or how that happened, or what was going on. And I don't know how to explain that. Um... I do remember that looking, you know, at the time I had my Jack Russell, Max, and I had Shen, and they both acknowledged this entity, person, whatever, it, she was filmy. So I was looking at her, and it was almost like I could look, like she was shadowy, like she was there, but she wasn't there, and her features were muted. I, I don't know how else to explain it, almost like a blurry television. Um, but she, my roommate Rachel is very unique looking. She has very dark, curly hair, you know, and not a lot of people look like her. So it was like, had all 
the features, all of the features that would tell me that is Rachel. And it's like, all I remember is the t-shirt was weird. And I'm like, she wouldn't wear that t-shirt. And I couldn't quite recognize the t-shirt either. Again, blurry TV. Um, but it was alarming. It's like, who is this person? How did they get in the room? And, you know, when Rachel got home, we checked everything over. You know, I pretty much stayed stayed to my room, scared to death. Um, the crawl space in our house, I think was accessible through my room. So you couldn't, that individual couldn't have disappeared up into the crawl space if it was a real human being. They would have had to be in Sean's room and we checked every nook and cranny of his room, his closet, under his bed, etc. That individual wasn't there. It's a two-story townhouse. There's no way that they would have crawled out the window, been able to close the window behind them. There was no way for them to egress without me knowing it because of where I was sitting in my room. So had they gone into that room, hidden themselves well, and then escaped, you know, um, while I was waiting for my other roommate to come home, there was, it was impossible. Um, so we did not call the police. Um, it was a ghost. Um, other things that happened during that period is my roommate Sean would come home and he said that there would be a brilliant light shining from underneath my door. And he didn't understand that because um, I didn't fall asleep with my lamps on. I did have a small night light that was on the other side of the room. It wouldn't have been shining under the door like that. And uh, we also tried to recreate it and could not. So. I honestly cannot explain that one. Um, and I have to say, I, as you know, if you've been following along for Trilokia, I've experienced a whole number of things throughout my life along the lines of the unexplainable. And, you know, it, it's like, you know, shadows when you're little out of the corner of your eye or you see something come in your room, you, my bed would bounce. Like this thing came in one night and my bed bounced. That. and I was like oh my god I could have been asleep already and dreaming and that could have been me jerking awake and I didn't know the difference between being asleep and awake because maybe I was I fell asleep and I was just dreaming my room right and then I dreamt that this thing came in and I jolted awake you know but it was the same scene so my brain didn't click like between oh I was just sleeping and that was a dream and now I'm awake or maybe I was just kind of tranced out you know it's just some things it's like you know I saw the reflection of something in my TV when I was about 15 or 16 somewhere around there um hulking thing like you know, the third ghost from Scrooge. And then something grabbed my foot and pulled me a little bit down the bed. And uh, it was not in, reflected in the television anymore, but I couldn't see it in my room. It's like I'm looking at the television going, what the hell is that? And I get pulled like that. It was like, what? <laughs> that was scary. Um, you know, just odd odds and ends and unexplainable. So... Yeah, heck yeah, I've had paranormal experiences and stuff. So I believe people when they, they say things, but I'm also very apt to dismiss things, especially orbs. Those photographs with orbs, I'm like, that that's bugs, dust, water, vapor, um, water droplets. I'm like, come on, folks. An orb, maybe, with some motion and stuff. I might give you that, but probably thinking that's a bug flying through that your camera is somehow picking up it's reflecting light from somewhere there's always an explanation um but i cannot explain seeing somebody come off the stairs hearing them come in the house they come up the stairs visually seeing them hear them walk down the hall into another room close the door and then just disappear I cannot explain that life for my life. And it's like, I wish that I could. And my only explanation is that somebody somehow got in the house and got back out without me noticing. 
which is frightening, absolutely frightening. Um, and I kind of live near that place again. I can see it from from my front or from my back door, and it, it just it has a dread to it because of that experience. But yeah, uh, I've definitely had those experiences. And if you have any questions about those sorts of things, maybe you could ask in the in the comments below, and maybe we could make another episode about more of this stuff, which would be very interesting. Um, until then, I'll see you next time here in March.